La Fontaine's Fables, The Acorn and the Pumpkin. God does what he does. Without looking for proof. In all this universe, and going through it. In the pumpkin's eye wincher. One villager. How big this fruit is and its stalk. What was the author of all this thinking, he said. He misplaced this pumpkin. Hey by blue, I'd hang her. To one of the oaks here. That would have been the case. Such fruit, such tree, to do well. It's a shame, Garo, you didn't come in. To the council of the one whom your priest preaches. Everything would have been better, for why, for example. The tassel, which is not as big as my little finger. Doesn't he hang in this place? God has despised himself, the more I contemplate. These fruits thus placed, the more it seems to Garo. That we made a quip pro quo. This embarrassing reflection our man. He said, we shall not sleep when we have so much spirit. Under an oak as soon as he will take his sum. An acorn falls, the sleeper's nose suffers. He awaketh, and bearing his hand upon his face. He finds the acorn caught in the hair of his chin. His bruised nose forces him to change his language. Oh, oh, he said, I'm bleeding. And what would it be so? If a heavier mass had fallen out of the tree. And that this gland would have been a gourd? God did not want it, no doubt he was right. I can now see the cause. Praise God with all things. Garo's going home, 